It's live with Lauren, everybody. Yay! The pixels are slowly forming your it's face. It's like, hello to all of you tuning in. <laughs> um, our first segment is something for the fans. As you know, we have some very diehard Superstore fans who really, really love the show. They're very active on social media. And one of these fans, who I reference every week on this show, Dahlia, she is putting together a video where each cast member says, Stan Samosa, because we Stan Samosa. So my, my question to you is, would you be willing to indulge the fans and simply say that you Stan Samosa? Okay, I, America Ferrera, Stan Samosa. They're gonna go nuts. I have been doing every week Superstore trivia. I go through and I write trivia questions specifically tailored to whoever I'm talking to. And so I have come up with some trivia questions for you. Are you excited about this game? I'm so excited about this game. I feel like, Lauren, this is a game we would play on set, like, for us. Oh, <laughs> 100%. <laughs> All right, viewers, get ready. We're about to start the America Ferrera Superstore Trivia Edition. Hold on to your pants. Question one. Easy one. What was Amy's name tag in the pilot? Ramona. Of course, Shaq got that one. Not even, not even a hesitation. I knew you would love this. Okay, question <laughs> two. In what episode does Amy discover that Dina is a vegan? Oh, girl. I can give you clues. And also, if you want to watch the comments, the fans do help. Oh, I already saw Wedding Day Sale. Yes, you got it. <laughs> question three. Name all of Amy's Halloween costumes. Okay. So it was Cleopatra, Selena, Super Mario, and then Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ding, ding. Perfect. Nailed it. You're killing it. Question four. In episode 320, Gender Reveal, written by Lauren Ash, mm -hmm. what name does Amy reveal she would have been named if she had been born a boy? This is so hard. D Donald Sosa? Ding, was ding, ding. Donald? Yep. I'm Don Sosa, and if I got a card for you. Question five. What does Amy hate in her chocolate? Coconut. Of course. Ding, ding. Question six. What mean name does Cheyenne call Adam's girlfriend, Bridget, on the lawn of her home? Three owl bitch. Yes, absolutely. That's like one of my favorite lines of all time. The oh, me time. too. Question seven. In All Nighter, what does Amy say employees used to call the photo lab? The bang room? Yes! <laughs> in maternity leave, Amy has to go to back to work how quickly after she gave birth? Oh, like it wasn't even 48 hours. That's yeah. correct. 100% A plus, you killed it. He you win. I just wanted to quickly discuss favorite Amy Dina moments from over the course of the past five years. Oh, so many. I compiled a very quick list. Okay. Started with Shoplifter shoplifting uh, with Natasha Leggero. And that was the scene where where I feel like the Amy friendship really was first born. Yeah, that was like our second episode after the pilot. Yes. And yes, I think what bonded us, what bonded Lauren and America was that as that scene went on, we just got progressively louder <laughs> and louder. And then that brings us to ladies lunch. Uh, which was the next big moment I could think of, which which I think what was great about this was that it started that Dina wanted to do something nice for Amy. She was like, listen, let's go have this ladies lunch. <laughs> Amy really didn't want it and then kind of communicated like, this is not what I want. But then Dina was really sad. And so Amy kind of sacrificed herself and was like, no, you know what? I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be present, I'm gonna get drunk, let's do this. Yes. And yes. I thought that was such a like cute story that it started out both of them were just trying to do something nice for the other. That's right. That's right. And it ended with, usually ends with being drunk for Amy and Tina. Correct. <laughs> um, I feel like it would end that way for Lauren in America if America wasn't knocked up all the time. The next moment I, I thought of was the Brett's Dead episode where Dina's struggling with PTSD post-tornado. And we get to see the big scene at the end with Amy and, and Dina in the in the storm shelter in the basement of the store. And then they end up having the whole back and forth where they're sharing with each other and crying. Obviously, Golden Globes, Dina eats meat for Amy. Huge moment. Big moment. Um, video game release. Amy reveals to Dina she has a crush on Jonah. <laughs> 
You had some improv. At the very end. I directed that episode. That's one of my favorite episodes that I That's right. The lines you were improv at the end of that still crack me up when I think about them. I ask, and Ben doesn't know that I ask people this question, but who do you think would win in a fight, Brett or Jonah? <laughs> Brett. For sure, like on, I mean, Brett's a legend. If you had to be in quarantine with a character from the show, not an actor, but one of the characters from the show, who would you choose? I think I would have to choose Dina because I feel like she'd be the best prepared. I agree, I'd choose her too. And then, okay, quick follow up then, if you chose an actor from the show, you don't have to choose me, but you know, I am also <laughs> a choice. <laughs> right. Who would you choose? <laughs> to be quarantined with? Who are the actors in the show? Am I? <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't cook, so I need someone who cooks and who cares. Did now, you know that I've cooked every meal since we started quarantine? That puts you, that definitely puts you in the top three. If it's, if it's cook, well, Colton's a good cook too. Ben and Nico care a lot about food, but I don't yeah. know if Ben can cook. I just know that he, he likes finding other people who cook. So maybe Ben's right. not on the list. But this is just a lot of dancing around. Like I just felt like when I asked the question, it would be a no brainer, but it's, <laughs> it's really, I mean, I get it. I can't go right. You're setting me up to fail. I can't, I can't pick a, a castmate to quarantine with. What I'm hearing is you'd choose Lauren Ash. We asked ahead of time and someone asked, you have to choose America. Uh, what is your favorite Superstore episode, if you had to choose one? There are Listen. 98 of them to choose from. That's a lot. Do you mind just um, going naming them real quick, just from the beginning, all my yeah. 98 of them? Pilots, Shots and Salsa, Magazine Profile. <laughs> I'm impressed I got three in a row. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, I have to say, like, I loved maternity leave. Mm -hmm. Just, like, for me, for Amy, personally, like, I thought that was... For Amy, it was like a really great episode for her. But I think for me, I had literally just had my child like 10 weeks before and like back on set. I, it was like so on the surface and so easy for me to like access those emotions. That speech that you give Glenn is so funny. No, you don't get to talk right now. I am so tired. I have slept 90 minutes in, in three days. The lining of my uterus is coming out in clumps. I have hemorrhoids so big that my doctor looked at my and said, whoa. But I love so many episodes. It's so hard. It's like, I'm thinking like the strike episode and then, mm. and, you know, the episode where we go on strike, but then the episode where we're striking, like that was such a good one. Like Black Friday was such a good episode. Cheyenne's wedding was such a good episode. Um, our healthcare episode makes me laugh so hard. The one yeah. where we, you know, we try to create our own in-store, like, healthcare system. Like, so smart, so funny. I mean, I'd have so many favorites. It's hard to pick. I always say wedding day sale. I think that there's been episodes since then that I probably loved as much or more, but that one just has such a, like, place in my heart. I just loved the Amy Dina story because I really feel like that's where it kind of blossomed and that became such a huge thing for us over the course of the rest of the seasons. That one, sentimentally for me, is probably my favorite. Thank you so much for being a guest on Live with Lauren today. This was so fun. I know, it went by so fast. I feel like um, I feel like we should do this more often. All right, well, you um, know, I stand you. I stand you, Lauren. I stand you right back. We love our fans. Mwah. Thanks we do. for tuning in, guys. We do love our fans. You guys are amazing. I hope that you've enjoyed all of these Live with Laurens. America, thank you again. I miss you. I love you, and I will talk to you very soon. I love you, too. Mwah. Bye. Bye.